has a few seconds of my face. You're welcome. Jack Zoo, Kool Aid Rockstar, and Screw Love. Macklemore, Rap Album of the Year. Grammys. Best Rap Album. <laughs> Yes. <laughs> Best rap album of the year. The category contained Drake, Jay Z, Kendrick Lamar, Kanye West, and someone who should not have been in this group at all, Ben Haggerty, aka Macklemore. Y'all racist. Why? Because Macklemore's white, he shouldn't be included in a rap album, or rap album, as you like to put it. No, but truthfully, I think Big Sean should have took his place, because I thought Big Sean's album was dope. Kanye West, I also liked, but I can see where some people be like, yeah, yeah. But to get 1%, Kendrick Lamar, like, who votes for this? There's some old dude sitting there thinking, I don't know no Kendrick Lamar. Do they even listen to hip hop? Like, who actually votes for the Grammys? Jay Z has 17, so he doesn't need any more. But poor Kendrick put his heart and soul, got seven nominations and 1% of the vote. Macklemore. Thrift Shop sounded like a parody song. The guy in the chorus should be shot. And he won album of the year. Was it even a album? <laughs> <laughs> rap, a genre of African American music formed in the 80s and the 90s, in which rhyming lyrics are chanted to musical accompaniment. Rhyming. That's the main part I want to take away from that whole from that whole definition of rap that I just gave you just there. Rhyming is what they said. Lyrical rhyming. Macklemore does not rhyme. Piss. What rhymes with piss? Can you say piss? <laughs> <laughs> you said penis. Penis is a technical, but oh, piss is it, it's sure in. Bang. <laughs> what rhymes uh, for sure in? You're in the situation that you're in when you're winning rap album of the year and no one even regards you as a rapper. Go to any ghetto in America and ask them about the rapper Macklemore. They'll tell you they don't know him because he's not a rapper. He's a, he's a musical artist. If he had won album of the year, kudos. Kudos to you. I mean, I don't like his music, but fair enough. It could be the album of the year. I don't know, I don't listen to him. But rap album of the year. Valentine's Day. How to get that special person's attention. So it's Valentine's Day coming up soon. And we're gonna help you on how to get someone's attention. Now if you're a girl, there's only one way to get someone's attention. And that's to slingshot your panties at everyone you like. That's the only way. And if you're a guy, I don't know, I'm trying to get your attention. How would I get their attention? I don't know. I was having this conversation earlier on and I have zero game. It's, it's, that's just the truth of the matter. If I was to try and do that stuff, it would be a horrendous fail. You know what, I just, I just, I just show my chest here. <laughs> Valentine's Day is fast approaching. You're looking at that special girl or that special guy and you're thinking, man, I just really need to let them know how I feel so that we can get something popping. First thing you need to address is what's your end goal? Are you trying to become the special person in their life or do you just want that Valentine's Day loving? Once you know, then your strategy is gonna change. If you wanna be the special person, then this is what I would say is your best approach. Be straightforward with them. Let them know that you're interested or that you like them. And mention Valentine's as a joke, be like, oh yeah, I'll take you out for Valentine's Day or you should take me out for Valentine's Day. And then just continue banter from now till then with that joke in mind and you will see where it goes if they're interested in you. If you want that loving, then you need to let them know straight. On February 14th, I am free. Be free and we can come together. At the same time. Boom. Boom. Man sees you in it. I saw you walking down the road in it. And I thought, boom, the cheeks are round, innit? <laughs> thought, boom, the cheeks are round. I want to get around, I want to play around. So I thought, you know what? Here's my number. Call me, maybe. Hello there, lady. You look beautiful. You look special. Like my special fried rice. I like the Jamaican girl. I want to go to Jamaica with you. You're so special. You're so special, so special, so special. This Valentine Day, I want to show you how special you are. You are like my rib. My pop rib. <laughs> <laughs> All jokes aside, just be honest. What will be, will be. 
She wants your attention, so you ask her some questions. Tell her to listen, though. Just pretend you're listening. Oh, that's really interesting. Oh, what makeup? Oh, that's really cool. Oh, you like those type of shoes? Hmm, okay, that's interesting. That's one way. But here's the bona fide, bona fide way <laughs> to get a girl's attention. If there's anyone you know that's a jerk, be like them. Because jerks win. Seriously, if you're like, hello. <laughs> I'm kind of nervous right now because you're so gorgeous and I just want to tell you. You know what I mean? Like, may we please have sex? Please! Just once. Please. I've seen it on TV and I just want to see what it's like. <laughs> no. You tell a girl, this is what's going to happen February 14th. The Screw Love movie will come out and when we're going to have sex. <laughs> that's two things that's going to happen. So either tell a lie or be a jerk. Don't ask to interrupt. Just interrupt it. Just interrupt. Thank you. If you really want to get someone's attention, don't do anything that this guy said. Disregard everything that came out of his mouth. Like I said in the beginning, be you. Just be you. Even if you just want haberdashery, be you. If you really want someone to I'm be- I'm sorry, can I just interrupt? Can I-, <laughs> I could be who I am the rest of the year. The fact is, who I am isn't getting what it's supposed to be getting. Lies. Lies. It's okay if you're a multi-millionaire and you're just this super handsome guy. You can be yourself. That's when you can be yourself. Listen, if you've got millions now, you look in the mirror and you're actually good looking. Be yourself. If unfortunately you're like me and you look like this. Being yourself, you can be by yourself. That's what's gonna happen. If you if you like yourself that much, you can spend all Valentine's Day by yourself with Angela and Palmer. Do you oh, really want to be with those two? Free some. This week, we're sacrificing Melissa Lee Williams. Now, this name won't mean anything to most of you, but to the poor gentleman involved with the altercation, that name meant hell. So Melissa Lee shows up at her estranged husband's house, who's there with another guy, and she demands of him that he perform cunnilingus on her. He declined. The guy, Danny, I believe his name was, he says, yeah, sure, why not? I'm game. What, you're not gonna get this? I'm gonna get this. Let's go. Now, poor Danny didn't know what he was getting himself into because when he goes to go down, down downtown, turns out that it was Funky Town. He became overwhelmed by the horrible vaginal odor emitting from Melissa Williams. And when he then declined, she pulls out a knife and says, somebody is going to eat my or I'm going to cut your throat. Is this what it's come down to? Melissa Lee Williams, what the bird. Did this woman really show up with a knife? Let's just think about that for one second. That means she was prepared. That means she knew she missed wash day already. She knew she had the funky town going on already. And she's coming around wanting that special attention. She comes to her, <laughs> her husband. I think they were maybe separated. That's why she hadn't seen him for a while. Cause he obviously, I don't know. I don't even know why, but she already knew she was funky. She already knew there was going to be problems with this interaction of, I want special attention. You're going to give it to me. So she had that knife to hand. Then she produced it like Timberland off a rock. I don't know how it was supposed to go down. <laughs> <laughs> uh, a quick word of advice. Ladies and gentlemen, if you have the intention of getting somebody to go down on you, please take a whiff yourself first. If the smell is unacceptable to you, don't bring other people into it. Especially not by knife point. What are you thinking, really? Macklemore won rap album of the year. Melissa won funk album of the year. She looks like her badge smells like Flavor Flav. I heard her funk was the truth by Africa Bambata and George Clinton. That's how you know it's real. Even Snoop Zilla. But to top it off, she actually looked bun as well. She was not attractive in any sense of the word. She looked haggard. Seriously, she looked horrendous. Haggard is a perfect word. She looked like she'd been shopping in a thrift shop. She looked like she was born in the thrift shop. Her vagina DJs, funk master flex. <laughs> She should take that knife and kill herself for that, bro. <laughs> she should cut her nose off the spite of her fanny. <laughs> That's how you get someone's attention, though. You show up on the door with a stinky pom pom, bro, and a knife. And say, like, Someone's eating, bro. <laughs> We're not even going out. Save your money. We ain't going out for dinner, bro. Valentine's is on me. Oh, <laughs> One pound fish, boy. <laughs> One pound fish. 